Hi, my name is Tina. I'm head of design of Victoria Designs. In this video, Christy will show you how to craft the envelope notebooks and slip cases with the principles of our My Secret Vintage Journal kit. I included some free printable templates so that you can make this with any sturdy paper that you like. The link is below. Viewers that buy our My Secret Vintage Journal kit will get exclusive access to the rest of the tutorial. That exclusive tutorial will teach you also how to make the journals, a flip out for the journal, how to construct the envelopes and how to embellish everything. And you also get the chance to purchase the tutorial for the amazing box that holds everything. An hour and a half tutorial will teach you from scratch how to make this amazing box with a secret compartment. This is absolutely one of the most clever crafts I've ever seen. I think the box is absolutely amazing. So start collecting those cardboard boxes. If you would like some more information about this My Secret Vintage Journal kit or you would like to purchase it, the link is below. If you would like to see the printables in this kit to see how it works on paper, we have a video for that. I will leave the link below. Christy has her own YouTube channel named Faithful Designs by Christy. So if you would like to learn more about paper crafting, definitely check it out. So, and now let's start crafting. I will give the word to Christy. Here I cut the pieces and it's this one, the five by seven. And I have these two pieces that will go on top and the bottom. So I'm going to glue over there and I already put tape. And first, you are going to glue this part up here in the center. Okay, then you're going to do one side. And then the other. And as you can see, okay, it looks like this. Now I'm going to glue this one on this side. This one right here. Try to put the edges together. And then the last one. And now we are going to uh, make the envelopes that go inside. And this is the envelope that we are going to make and it's printed in both sides. So we are going to fold in half. And this page, okay, is, is six by eight, okay? So we um, just fold it in half and then you have this piece and it's printed both sides too and um it has the lines right here so you score there in the lines i already did the lines are scored already so you just fold in the second line too okay Okay, so I have something like this. And then we are going to glue this one right here on top. But first we need to um, use the Distress Inks. And we don't want to see white paper. And then you can use glue or a uh, tape and I'm going to use glue right here. And I use 
use these two to spray the glue and then i'm going to put it on top right here then i'm going to fold the second line and i'm going to put glue right here or you can use tape if you want Then you are going to put some ink in there and it has to be under right under the line and we already made this one right uh, and it has the pocket and right here looks like this see and now because we fold it in half right here okay we are going to add the pages and there are, these are some of the pages and some uh, papers that i tea dyed okay so i'm going to add more embellishments so it's going to be a little bit bulky so don't put a lot of pages or this one is going to be very thick okay then um we are going to make um binding very easy binding and you just need a piece of cardstock that measures the size of the pages then you are going to measure one inch and mark a dot then one inch mark a dot and then you're going to fold this one and find the center and mark another dot so three dots only okay one inch one inch and the center and we are going to use something to make the hole so we are going to put this one in the center and then put up here and i cut the pages exactly as the size of the envelope okay so you are going to start up here on the first one the first hole and you just mark then hold it then making the center and then the last one see it's very easy now we are going to sew and i'm going to use an embroidery thread i like to use embroidery threads because you can choose the color you want and a needle that is not too thick and then you easily pass the thread in there then you are going to do like a number eight let me show you you are going to pass on the top, then go and make like an S, pass in the center, and then go back, pass in the center, and finish here. So it's going to be like a number eight. See? Okay, I'm going to do it with you. We pass right here. Then we are going to pass in the center. see now we go pass right here at the bottom and now we go back to the center can you see the number eight <laughs> number eight right here because you have to go back to the center okay but i'm going to tighten now because you already saw okay how it goes and then again to the center super easy that's it okay and we are going to measure this string to leave it like this okay and we're going to pull this one 
then pull up here and you make a double knot just like this one hold it with your finger and then two okay now you're going to cut okay before the end up here and the thread is going to look like this and all your pages are together in this little notebook and then you can add pockets and tags and you have more space for writing okay and we're going to put a closure up here and this is how it's going to look see you can barely see the thread and right here is where you see the folding part up here and you can use some embellishments anywhere so it's up to you so i'm going to use velcro to put it up here so i have up here I always put this one, the rough part up here at the bottom and the soft part here. You will put them together like this, press, and then you take it. And this is the soft part, okay? The, the first one on top. That one we're going to put up here. And we press very well. And then we take this one and then you close it and press it okay and then press very well and see this is how it's going to look and i have three more up here that are done see and you can arrange them the way you want and just put it up here